Today I'm going to tell you a very very inspirational story about charity and this is a story of the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu about an orphan boy. But before I want to ask you a question. You know when you give something in charity for example if you give like ten dollars to an orphan you know or some poor person who gets more? Do they get more or do we get more? We'll see inshallah the story will tell us. You know, there was this orphan boy in Medina and he had a garden and he wanted to build a wall around the garden. But this was this one tree blocking the garden. So this boy, he asked his neighbor, the tree belonged to his neighbor, he said, please give me the tree and then I can build the wall around my garden, I can complete my wall. So the, orf uh, the neighbor though, he said, no, I'm not giving you my tree. Just one tree, just give it to him. He can finish his wall, protect his garden. But he said, no. So the orphan boy, he went to the Prophet and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I just need one, this one tree. I'm asking him. He's not giving me. Please ask him. So the Prophet asked him. He said, just give this orphan this one tree. And the neighbor said, no, I am not giving it to him. So then the Prophet offered him a fantastic deal. He said, give him this one tree and you will have a tree in Jannah. Wow, isn't that amazing? You know, just one ordinary tree and in exchange for that, he's going to have a tree in Jannah. It's amazing. And of course, you know, what does that mean? If you have a tree in Jannah, it's not going to be like, yeah, I have a tree in Jannah, but I live here in hell. <laughs> that means obviously at some point, you are going to be in Jannah. So the Prophet is actually offering him Jannah, a part of Jannah. But he says, no, the neighbor again refuses. So, you know, what can the Prophet do? He's not, you know, he doesn't, he has said no to Jannah. So, you know, the Prophet couldn't say anything more. Then, Abu Dahda radiallahu anhu was standing there listening to this conversation. And he came to the Prophet, he said, Ya Rasulullah, is this deal that you just offered, is this for anybody? Or is this specially just for this neighbor? That if anybody offers this boy that tree, are they going to have a tree in Jannah? And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, yes, it is for anybody. So then, you know, Abu Dada radiallahu anhu, he can't really give that tree to the boy at the moment because it doesn't belong to him, it belongs to the neighbor. So then, but you know, Abu Dada radiallahu anhu was a very, very wealthy man, very rich. He had big, huge farms in Medina. Farms that everybody knew about. You know, in your city there might be a building, a place everybody knows about, it's so famous. That's the kind of farms Abu Dada radiallahu anhu had. So he said to the neighbor, do you know about my farms? And the neighbor like, who doesn't know about your farms? Your farms are like the biggest farms in the city. So Abu Dada radiallahu anhu said, okay, I will sell you my farms for this one tree. <laughs> you know, Abu Dada radiallahu anhu knows what he's making a deal for. But let's, say, let's see if the neighbor does. He says, yeah, that's a great deal. Give me, give me your, all your farms. Let's take it to take this tree. Now, did the neighbor actually make a good deal? Not really, because we know what he just lost, right? He didn't just lose one tree, he also lost that tree in Jannah. And that's really what Abu Dahda who was trying to sell his farms for. As soon as he got that tree, he went to give it to the orphan boy. He gave it to the orphan boy. And then immediately, he goes to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and he says, Ya Rasulullah, do I have a tree in Jannah right now? And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Said, how many trees in Jannah for Abu Dahda? 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 So many trees. He just kept repeating it, repeating it, repeating it until Abu Dahda got up and he left. Paul, look at his sacrifice, but look at the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What did the orphan boy got in the end? <laughs> what did the orphan get in the end? He got one tree, right? He just got one ordinary tree. And Abu Dahda radiallahu anhu was the one who gave. He got so much more, right? So when we give charity, we don't just, you know, we are the one who are actually benefiting a lot more. When you are giving an orphan, you know, $10, $15, they just get that. But you get so much more reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and you know that's what you are trying to get these sponsors that you are trying to reach out to to encourage them to give you are trying to get them that reward so don't hesitate be confident right and work hard at it you know your reward when you're participating in the deeds or for a charity fundraiser it is so much more you are getting reward for encouraging people to give charity you are getting reward for doing your pledges right the good deeds that you are doing in pledges and you are getting the reward for giving charity and helping your brothers and sisters in Palestine and Syria this is you know a lot of reward plus it is Ramadan so it's multiplied so many times alhamdulillah so much reward you really got to put in your best in these you know last days that are left and give it your best and inshallah we want to try to give them as much as we can those children are in great need and we need to try to do our best to help them and I'm sure you are all doing it so I will see you very soon inshallah and I hope you keep doing a lot of hard work and we all should make dua for each other that our fundraising goes really well and especially especially make a lot of dua for the children in Syria and Palestine that's all. I'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.